Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Monday edition of Intentional Talk. It is presented to you by Toro, it is Millar, it is Rose, and it is Phillies legend Chase Utley. And this is a real special edition because, Chase, we're going to be joined in a few minutes by one of the doctors there on the front line in your baseball town of Philadelphia. And we asked him who his favorite Philly was, and it's you. Now, he doesn't, he doesn't know that you're coming on the show, so you ready to surprise him? Right. I'm ready to surprise him. You know, the fans of Philadelphia treated me great over the years. Um, and I'd love to talk to him and just tell him how much I appreciate what he's doing. That's awesome. So we're going to hide you right now. We will see you in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere because we're going to introduce you to Dr. Mark Mickelson. So, Kevin, this might be my favorite edition of Intentional Talk we have ever done because we're speaking to somebody on the front lines of this dreaded disease out there. So we're going to welcome in from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in addition to all his other duties at the hospital at the University of Pennsylvania. He is now the chief of the COVID-19 unit. He is Dr. Mark Mickelson. Dr. Mickelson, thank you so much for joining us today on Intentional Talk. And on behalf of everybody here at the network, thank you to you and the nursing staff and the custodial staff and all the people that prepare the food. How are you guys doing right now? Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for having me. Um, you guys are amazing, and we look forward to having some baseball sometime soon. Um, we're doing actually really, really well, um, and I love that you highlighted sort of the team uh, that each and every day is sort of making sure that we um, stay in our game as well and stay focused on what we need to do between nurses, docs, respiratory therapists. I could go on and on, but um, you've done your homework, and you clearly know that just like baseball, it's a team effort, and so thank you for the opportunity. So, Doctor, listen, we, we all know the numbers, and, and they're not pretty out there, but we want to focus on some of the good stories here on Intentional Talk. What is it like when somebody maybe has been on a respirator, and they're able to get well, and they're able to leave the hospital and be reunited with family members? What is that like for you and your staff? Yeah, um, actually, wonderful question. Really, what, what more could you be focused on through this uh, journey right now? So, the idea that you know, we have patients that we're taking care of and doing, um, you know, coming together to provide the care for them. But the goal is to get them home to their family. And um, we are getting there. And with each and every day, we're having uh, folks who are able to get back to their loved ones. Um, and in general, that's what our sites are on. And uh, each and every day we're able to achieve that is a, is a unbelievable success. And so, I think in the weeks ahead, um, you know, as patients could come back to their family, um, then you'll hear more and more stories about what they've been through um, and how they were cared for with love and compassion. And um, I look forward to those stories as much as I do the ones that we've been hearing. Well, Dr. Mickelson, we know you're a big Phillies fan, and yep. we know and heard that you were at the parade in 2008 when they won that World Series. So I want you to talk to us about how awesome that was. Oh, man. Uh, so that, well, lifetime experience, what can you say? Um, and the 08 team was amazing. And I went down there with actually one of my colleagues. We were on Broad Street back in the day. That was before I had any of my boys. And so the only regret was that my wife was at home and uh, she was uh, pregnant at the time with our eldest. So she couldn't be there. But uh, the boys see pictures and they look forward to some uh, someday being on Broad Street for another Phillies parade. Now, who was your favorite, uh, your, your favorite player on that team back in 2008? Yeah, actually, I was thinking about that. It was probably back in the day, Cliff Lee, um, but position player was definitely Chase Utley. Um, you know, I had my, had my T-shirt and used to wear it with pride. Um, loved when he came back over the last couple of years to uh, sort of celebrate being back in Philly with um, the Philly faithful. That was pretty awesome. Well, Dr. Mickelson, um, you're in luck because we've got somebody who wants to say hello today. So we would like to welcome 2008 Philadelphia Phillies World Series champion, Chase Sutley. Hello, Chase. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Doc, how are you doing? Oh, man, um, this is pretty cool. My boys are going to be uh, unbelievably psyched. Um, so thank you for joining us today. Um, and again, giving us a pleasant diversion to think about cool things like baseball coming around the corner, hopefully soon. You know, my pleasure. Uh, happy to talk with you. Uh, thanks for the support over the years. Uh, but now I'd like to thank you, you for what you are doing and what your staff and team um, are doing for the city of Philadelphia. Obviously, 
you recognize how important of a role you're, you're playing. And I just want to thank you personally uh, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, Chase, this is a, a, you know, a moment that I won't forget. Um, and I, I'd be remiss if uh, I didn't sort of bring it home with the idea that says we are an unbelievable international team who is, um, you know, coming together to uh, fight something that we haven't seen before, nurses, docs, and, um, you know, all stars, each and every one of the folks across the world that are coming together to do this. So, uh, Doc, um, do you have a favorite Chase Utley moment from over the years? Well, he had that short, uh, short swing and back in the World Series, I guess that would have been, I don't know, Chase, you tell me, probably 09, I guess, where it just was like boom, 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 and just uh, nailing them uh, over the wall. That was, um, each and every one of them was unbelievable. But, um, you know, back to back would have been sweet, but uh, close. So it's 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 funny, Doc. You asked that question. Now he had five home runs in that 2009 World Series against the Yankees. Is there another player that we could blame? Because it wasn't Chase's fault. Obviously, with five homers going deep every other, uh, it seemed like every other at bat. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm a positive kind of guy. Nobody to blame. It just happened. Uh, and, and you know, someday we'll get back there. Um, hopefully, very very soon. Every year I say the same thing. I said this is our year. Some years it's correct. Uh, many it's not, but we'll get back. Chase, can you believe Millar's trying to get a Philly fan all riled up on you here? <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't surprise me one bit at all. I appreciate that, Kev. You look good. That that stash and that that tiger, oh, that tiger king look is amazing. Uh, thank you so much. I do want to ask you one second, one one yeah. one, one, one question, uh, Doc. Um, would you rather Pat Burrell's looks or Chase Utley's athletic ability? Uh. Well, um, I'm going to go with um, athletic ability and looks. Can I do C, all the above? Yeah, you could do C, all the above. You're allowed to. <laughs> good answer. Taking plenty of tests in my day. That <laughs> sounds good. No, they both are unbelievable. Um, this is a very, very cool experience. Um, and also just the opportunity to sort of reflect, um, you know, on what the world is going through. And, um, you know, I hope everybody out there uh, both enjoyed the past weekend and um, Easter, Passover, but also um, is staying safe and, you know, thoughts and prayers go out to uh, each and every one of us and their loved ones at this time. No question about that, Doc. Um, obviously, we, we want to see a day again where we can all celebrate, like at a parade like you were at in, in 2008. What do you remember about Chase's speech? And then, Chase, I want you to follow up. <laughs> Listen. Uh, you know, I've heard so, so you know, I have three boys and I got to be careful about the language, but um, man, I just remember, uh, so I, I was not actually down at the stadium, but just was watching it and just like, um, you know, I think for, for Philly faithful, it was um, just a real moment. And I've heard Chase sort of explain that um, it just sort of came out on the fly and um, it was authentic. And, um, you know, there's nothing more that a Philadelphia sports fan appreciates than authenticity and being real. And so um, I remember it very, very fondly. I think it's actually one of the few things that I have DVR'd from, you know, forever ago. Chase? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he hit the nail nail on the head. Uh, it came out, I felt what I, I said what I felt. Um, listen, the plane in that city is, is a remarkable experience. Uh, there's nothing like it, the passion that the fans have. Um, they support you to, to the end of the day. If they like you, if they don't, they, they let you hear about it. But you have to respect that and understand it. Um, and I just wanted to express my feelings, and I did. Right on. Chase, you're, you're a West Coast guy, though. Like, seriously, explain real quick, about 30 seconds, of uh, the difference of the West Coast feel, and then you get a chance to play basically your career on the East Coast and the passions that these fans have. Yeah, I, I feel pretty fortunate uh, experiencing East Coast baseball before before West Coast baseball. Um, it's a little bit more intense on the East, on mm -hmm. the East Coast. I think uh, the fans are a little bit more into it. They live and die by their their sports teams, and you appreciate that, especially as a player uh, coming out west where I grew up. Still a great experience, um, but it, it seems like they don't live and die on on every step that you that you make. Uh, but there's definitely support out here on the West Coast. But um, I think I lucked out by playing in both both areas. Dr. Mickelson, uh, we got about a minute left here. So you have three boys. Are they all 
huge Phillies fans. Tell, tell Chase about this. What do we got? <laughs> yeah, so um, I coach uh, all of my boys. So they're like 11, 9, and 7, Jack, Ethan, and Liam. Hey, guys. And to my uh, wife, who's our rock at home, um, taking care of business while I'm taking care of business here at Penn. Um, but uh, my, my oldest, for totally unclear reasons, loves the Dodgers. And so, like, he's clearly, like – born to um you know to to somehow end up in LA uh someday but he does root for the Phillies but when they were up against each other it was like what um you know was going for the Dodgers but uh but that being said um he's born in Philly and and we'll we'll turn it around at some point but for now it's like Kershaw all over the walls and uh and uh, he roots very very hard uh for the for the Dodgers as well so Chase, you're in good hands with that guy he, between the Dodgers and the Phillies. That's great. I my, Yeah, my boys, too, are a little confused when I was still playing. <laughs> they, they have Phillies jerseys. They have Dodgers jerseys. Um, I, one of them started rooting for the Phillies. One of them started rooting for the Dodgers. They fought about it. Total debacle, as you can imagine, but a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right on. But guys, um, we really appreciate it. Chase Utley, thank you very much for showing up today. Uh, Dr. Mark Mickelson, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Now, I know you've got two major leaguers in Kevin Millar and Chase Utley on here, and a lot of big league ball players like to complain about having a day game after a night game. You're working back-to-back -back overnight shifts in the COVID-19. Yeah. So you tell them to just, just chill out a little bit, okay? <laughs> Uh, I was I was trained to do this though, um, and happy to do it, and uh, with passion and compassion, uh, showing up every day and doing the job that needs to be done. It's amazing. Thank you so so much. Stay well, stay healthy, and thanks so much for joining us on today's edition of Intentional Talk, presented to you by Toro. <laughs>